What's up, Chosen One, man? It's your big brother, Trend. You tuned in again to another Divine video. Man, when I started making this video, I looked at my phone. It was 11-11. I was like, yes, it's about to be a good video, man. Listen, man. It's your big bro, Trend, man. Listen. Chosen Ones, listen close to what I'm about to tell you in this video. Because today, what I'm about to tell you today, I'm going to prove it to you, okay? What I'm about to say today is going to happen in your life. And you're going to know what I'm saying was right, actually right. You're going to see it for yourself. All right. If not, unsubscribe. OK, unsubscribe. If I, if what if what I'm about to tell you right now, if you don't see it today, unsubscribe. Listen, try this. Check this out. Now, one thing about me, bro. I don't really know scriptures or nothing, bro. Like I'm not a. I'm not no Bible scholar. I'm not no book scholar, nothing like that, bro. I'm not really educated. I don't got no degrees or nothing. You feel me? Like, I don't really study a lot or nothing like that. I just try to read sometimes when I when I got the desire to like learn something new. But one thing I do know is that I do get downloads, bro. Like I get downloads like that come to me, like I just did just now, what I'm about to tell you. I get downloads that come to me and I can't even explain it sometimes, but I can explain it in a video like this because obviously you understand what I'm saying. But anyway, if you just understand what I'm saying, it might not sound like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not the best speaker in the world. You already know that, but just listen what I'm saying because it's going to happen if you, if you do what I'm telling you to do. Listen. Oh, and stay to the end of this video, man. I got something very special for you. Like I always do. All right. Listen, y'all. Yeah, you know I mean, chosen one. Listen, if you pray, okay, we live in a time right now that if you a real true chosen one, like you say you is, and if you pray, okay, things will come to you instantly. It'll come to you instantly, and it come really, really fast. And I'm about to tell you how, and I'm about to tell you why. Okay, now get this. Now get this out your head, y'all. What you always been taught about prayer, like my mama used to try to teach me, you know what I'm saying? Get down on your knees, right in front of the bed, put your hands together, uh, uh, get down on them. Like, that's how I was raised. Like, you know what I'm saying? It had to be like a ritual or something. It don't got to be like that. The only thing you got to do is have a communication going on in your, in your mind, even while you walking. That's prayer right there because you focus on you focusing on something. OK, that's what prayer is. Prayer is just basically you sending your energies to something. OK, you, you can be praying to somebody that ain't even around you. All that you got to do is be thinking about them and talking to them while, you, while they ain't even around. And then they'll get telepathic messages. And you don't even know that they get. OK, so we always praying all throughout the day. OK, listen, if you pray for something that you want, don't you know you're going to get it instantly? You're going to get it instantly. As a matter of fact, it's always been happening like that the whole time. But see, you could not never catch it because when you pray, it happened real fast. All right. And, and a lot of a lot of times, a lot of times people, people get it mixed up. People just think too much. You feel me? Sometimes you can overthink yourself right out your prayer. You feel me? One thing you got to understand is like when you pray, bro, you got to understand it's already done in that instant. Right before you even pray before the thing that you desire, it's already done, meaning you already got it. OK, now this is what a lot of people go wrong. A lot of people go wrong because they'll be sitting around. They'll be looking for it. They'll be getting all doubtful and stuff and they'll start questioning God again. Hey, where is it? At? Where is it? At? All that doing is what that's doing is it's, it's, it's lacking faith. It's lacking faith. It's basically like you don't even believe your own prayer that you just prayed for. Okay? So you can't do that. You can't do that at all, period. Trust me. I be doing it all the time. Okay? Listen, listen. I be doing it all the time. Listen, I'm going to tell you. Listen. Bros, I don't notice. Sometimes when I pray, that's what, and that's why I, I, honestly, I don't even really pray that much no more because I know it's real powerful. And, and be careful what you wish for because you will get it. Once you learn how powerful prayer is you will stop praying as much as you used to because you can ask for something and you will get it and then you will regret it bro 
So that's why I'm telling you in this video, be careful what you pray for because you will get it. Okay, be that's why they got that saying, be careful for what you wish for because the truth is you will get what you wish for. Okay, you will get it. Only person that's keeping you from getting it is you. Okay, and like I said, what I have, what most people do is they be starting to doubt themselves. They start to doubt themselves after they pray for something. You ever seen people do that? Well, I'm waiting on it, and it, and it gonna come. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, Lord. And it about to be here one day on by and by. It's just like they don't even believe that it's already done. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They like they gotta wait on it or something. You don't gotta wait on it. Sometimes I'll be praying. I'll be thinking of something at home. As soon as I get in my car and I go somewhere, right? Boom, I see that prayer I, I asked for right there. Draw right past me. Or boom, I see the person who I, who I would pray that I need to be around right there. Boom. And I just be so scared because I'm like, dang, bro. Like, dang. I, I just prayed for that, bro. You ever done that before? That's how fast your prayer is actually manifesting. So this is what you got to do, yo. All right. You when you pray for something, see, don't never pray. Don't never pray for stuff that's way crazy prayers. Like I want a million dollars. I want to stay in Hollywood. I, I want me two houses on the lake. I, I want you to pay off all my student debts. Like you can't pray them type of prayers, brother. <laughs> and don't, don't pray them type of prayers. This is what you need to pray for. Pray for something that you know that you deserve right now. All right. Yeah, listen, it's going to come. Pray for only stuff. Be humble with the prayers. Don't, don't, don't be arrogant with the prayers. Now, you be arrogant like outside of the prayers, but be humble with the prayer. Say say something like that you deserve, that you know do you, that you know you deserve. You know what I'm saying? Like, for instance, if you want a car, don't pray, oh, I want me a G-Wagon, Lord. I, I want that Mercedes, Lord. I, God, I'm going to get me a Lamborghini. No, just say, God, please, let me have a car, please. Well, just say, God, I want a car. I want a car. Just give me a nice, brand new car. Don't that sound good? Don't that sound better than saying, Lord, God, give me a Bentley? Don't that, don't that sound better than that? No, you just say, you just say, Lord, please, grant me a nice, brand new car. I want a black one. I want a white one, Lord. And that's it. And listen, if you believed it right there, this is what you do after you say it. Once you believed it, act like it's already gonna come to you. That's that's how I get them. That's how I get my prayers answered so fast. Because I be walking around with so much confidence, you can't tell me nothing. That's why nobody don't like me because they don't see me in doubt and stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's why people be talking about me because they they, they be seeing I'm stand up and I believe in what I believe in. You feel me? Because I got faith. You feel me? Listen. So when you pray for that thing that you want, bro, you got to walk around. I'm already going to get it. <laughs> I'm blessed. I'm going to get it. And listen, don't talk about it no more. Because, again, if you keep talking about it, if you keep talking to other people about it, and if you keep looking for it and. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you keep always thinking about it and stuff, that basically showing how you doubting it. A person that's confident in their prayer, they'll they'll say it one time and one time on. They won't even say nothing else about it. That's how you know somebody that's powerful versus somebody who weak. Somebody who weak, they got to keep talking about it and keep talking about it to try to convince God. He keep talking about it and try to convince you. I'm going to get me this, y'all. You ever had people to come in your life and they, they just say things like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get this. I got this much money. Girl, I made this much money. I made this much. He done told you how much money he made 50 times already. Obviously, it's clear that he don't make a lot of money. Because if you did make that much money, you won't even have to talk about it. So, you sound weak when you keep talking about something. It's, it makes you sound desperate. When you say it one time, and one time only, you walk in in faith and confidence and power. That one prayer done already went out there into the world, into the universe. It's already working when you said it, all right? Now listen, I'm gonna say this one more time. Y'all listen, y'all got to understand what I'm saying. You can get what you want instantly. Do you believe that? Somebody comment below and say, I can get what I want. 
Now, this is why this now if only a real, only a real true chosen one to get this. I ain't say no Bible scholars. I didn't say nobody is scripture throwing him uh, brimstone teaching, condemning people, preaching people. I didn't say that. I said person that's chosen and they can feel it in their heart. They can feel it in their heart that they chosen. Listen. Say it one time and one time only. As a matter of fact, just do me a favor. I'm going to tell you another powerful way that, that I don't really use this way, but I know it's powerful because I done did it before. You feel me? When you write your prayer, write your prayer down on a piece of paper and fold it up and put it in the closet or something. Whatever you want, write the prayer down or your request down on a piece of paper. Put it up under your bed or something like that. And again, forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. And you can do this with multiple different things that you want that you want in your life. Now, see, this is why I'm this is where I get confusing because once you keep asking for so many different things, you're gonna be confused as to how to find it. Okay? You're gonna be confused as to where it's coming from. So do only one prayer at a time. I would I would say pray only one thing at a time, bro. Some people got it twisted. You don't just keep praying and 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 praying. Like it's it's coming from a sense of desperateness, bro. Say one thing at a time, bro. Say be committed to one prayer at a time, and you'll start to see each one come to pass. Now you gotta look for 13,000 different prayers. What pray on that one thing and watch it come to pass. Pray on your next thing and watch it come to pass. You feel me? Now, you might say, well, Trent, how I, how I supposed to know when the, when the prayer, when the prayer come, is answered? Listen, if you don't think about it, something is going to happen. If you don't think about it, only, only when you don't think about it, you'll get to this point of the manifestation. Only when you don't think about it and you're walking in that confidence, just knowing that it's going to come to pass. What's going to happen is something going to happen. Right? Listen, so I got to cross the street. Something going to happen. I don't know. Sometimes it happens right after you pray. Sometimes it happens in 24 hours. Sometimes it happens next week. But you, it's gonna. What's gonna happen is you will be notified. You ever got a notification on your phone when you wake up, bing, and you didn't even know you had to pay the bill, but it came, but it hit your phone, didn't it? Bing. Or let's just say, let me put it like this. You ever heard your phone bing or ding, and you was in another room, but you heard it right, and say you was in the room talking to somebody else though, right? Okay, you have you in a meeting, but you heard your phone go off in the, in the break room or something like that, right? In the back of your mind, even you heard the notification, but see, you still in the meeting though, because you can't go to the phone right away, but you still in the meeting. But see, you're not thinking about the phone after it being that one time, but it lets you know, like, it lets you know your food is almost ready. That's how you'll know your prayer. That's how you know your prayer is about to manifest because what will happen is God, he'll make something happen that you be aware. If you're aware, you'll notice it and you'll be like. You get a, you get a, um, you pray for your credit to increase. Okay. You pray for your credit to increase last week. You did. God will make you pay something this week. Next week, you get like an email. Bing. Your credit just increased on your re financial report. You need to go check it out. This is how you get your prayers. See, most people, bro, they be so, so most people so religious, bro. They don't even be watching for stuff like this, but it's always happening. It's always happening, bro. You just got to pay attention to it. You know what I'm saying? You just got to pay attention to it and just watch it. Watch when it, just watch the signs. It come in the sign. This lady stopped way back here at the map. I ain't even up there at the, uh, the stop sign yet, boo. Go. God. But see, that's that, that's that chosen one stuff. She stopped way back there. I'm way back there on the sidewalk. Yeah, go, 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 go. It ain't that serious. Stop trying to, you too nice, boo. But now, nah, real talk. That's how that's how I be watching for my prayers. I pray for it one time. See, just got that notification, didn't I? I can't make this up, y'all. I can't make this up. That's the divine. It's the divine. It's the divine. It's supposed to happen like that. And I just told you, I just got through talking about a beam or notification. Okay, well, continue to don't believe me.
All right. I don't got no scripture for it. Nope. But I, I usually seen it. Watch for the signs after you pray. I'm not saying look with your two eyes, but just be aware. Just be aware of your surroundings and what's going on. Watch for the signs after you pray. Now, God is not necessarily, he's not necessarily going to give you the apple right off the tree. He's not going to give you the fruit right off the tree. It ain't just going to, this tree probably bear fruit, but it's not going to be, if you pray for fruit, it's just not going to instantly grow right there and just fall in your hands. It's not. He going to give you a sign. He going to. He gonna give you a sign. He gonna give you something. He gonna let. He gonna change the colors of the tree first to let you know it's coming in ripen season. It's coming in right in the right time for the for the star of harvest and the fruit. You see what I'm saying? So you gotta watch whatever you wanna pray for. Something is gonna happen uh, that's in correlation to the thing that you're praying for. Like for instance, that new car. All right, you pray for a new car. You told God with a humble prayer. I just want a nice brand new car, God. I don't want nothing fancy. I just want to be able to get back and forth to work. I just want to be able to go out sometimes, take myself and my kids out sometimes. Okay, you pray for that prayer. You go into a gas station riding with your homegirl, right? You go into a gas station one day and all of a sudden, a guy opens the door for you trying to be a gentleman and you see on his shirt, he got Chevrolet shirt on. And he say, going in, man, I'm going in. And you're like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then so you going over there to get you some water out the freezer, right? This guy come up right beside you and he get him a water out the freezer too. That's your sign to say something. Oh, you work at Chevrolet? Yeah, I'm the, I'm the top salesman down there. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the manager there. Okay, okay. It's quite hot out here, ain't it? Hey, it's quite hot out here, ain't it, Bob? What's your name, Bob? Yeah, it's hot out here. Yeah, we got to get us some water. You about to go back to work, man? I, can I come down there and get me a nice car? Oh, yeah, what you want? That's what Bob going to say. What you want? And you think about that prayer. I want me a black. I want me a black. Uh, I want me a black. Uh, I want me a black Chevrolet. Give me anything as long as it's brand new. All right. Well, here's my car. If you want to come down now, I'm gonna be in the office right now. Um, I'm on break right now, but I'm gonna be in the office right now, and I can go ahead and help you out. And put, and that be the person right there that will grant you access to getting that car. See, if you would have if you would have went on your own behalf and went in there, it wouldn't have been nobody in there to help you. They'll tell you your credit bad. They'll tell you ah you can't get it. You ain't got enough money. You need five thousand dollars down payment. They would have did all that stuff. But see, when you pray for it, God answered by bringing that dude into the gas station with you. He bought water right in the same water that you bought, and he worked at the Chevrolet. Place. Place. And that's a part of the prayer. See, God, uh, he will never give it to you whole. He just want to see if you're going to act on faith or not. He just wants you to go to the dealership after you meet the dude. He never going to give you what you want, like right then and there. He going to give you a piece of it so you can do the rest of it. Anyway, if you do this, I guarantee you, bro, you're going to get everything that you want every single time. Okay. Now, how about that? Yeah, well, you like I said, you folks, you'll see a lot of people that say, no, that ain't right. No, that ain't right. Well, you know what? Tell them that's what they want to believe. So what? OK, go over there. Over here, we using power of prayer to manifest what we want. And it works. Trust me. How y'all think I got on YouTube, bro? Because I've been manifesting it. I pray. I keep getting more and more subscribers all the time because I ain't even trying to get more and more subscribers. <laughs> I ain't even trying. I already know I getting them. Anyway. If you want to be a YouTube vlogger, man, I done talked to so many of y'all that done got my YouTube course. I'm still open to talk to more of y'all. If you get my YouTube course, I'm going to talk to you after you take the course if you send me an email for free on the phone. And I'm going to tell you all the secrets. And I'm going to give you some stuff to use on your YouTube channel that's going to help you blow up. So get your YouTube course today. Start doing YouTube like me. Don't just be watching me all the time. Start your own stuff. Tell your own stories. Get the YouTube course today, folks. Trust me, it works. All right? It's at the very bottom of the top of the comment section. Also, I'm starting crypto back up this week. We're going to be in a um, secret crypto group this week, talking about it, discussing it, you know, trying to get our finances together through crypto. Okay? Now, again, folks, beware. It's some scammers out there that's trying to act like me. They do everything I do. They're like, join crypto. But they never, they not me, folks. I'll talk to you personally. You, I'll tell you verbally over the phone or something. Okay? But that, that link I got below... Where well, you see my Patreon, it's called my Patreon. I got them two diamonds beside it. That's the real, that's my real page. Okay. But again, people that's hitting y'all up, telling y'all, see me some money, see me, see me some money, see me some money so you can get a crypto. Bro, that's a scammer, bro. That ain't even, that don't even sound real. Even I wouldn't even fall for that. But nah, the real deal, crypto, 
uh, page, folks. My crypto page is in the bottom in the comment section at the very top. If you want to join it, I'm going to be in there with my buddy. He's a professional crypto expert. He's going to tell you everything you need to know. Plus, I'm going to tell you some more. So join that with us today. We're going to be doing a crypto call coming up on like, uh, coming up on Wednesday. All right. With that being said, it's trend, man. I'll catch y'all in the next video, man. Do what I just told you to do. You're going to see it work today. I promise.